Hello, and welcome to the installation section of your CircuPool Universal Series Chlorine Generator. Before getting started with the installation, please ensure the water is balanced, and remember there must be a minimum level of salt in the water before turning on the unit. We recommend 3,000 to 4,000 parts per million. If this is your first time installing a salt chlorine generator, you'll add approximately 30 pounds of pool salt for every 1,000 gallons of water in your pool. If you are unsure of the size of your pool, or if you may have some level of salinity in the water from a previous chlorine generator, please refer to pages 6 through 8 in the manual for more helpful information. Follow all instructions for adding salt to the pool. The system should be installed on the return line as the final piece of pool equipment before the water goes back into the pool. It should be placed after the pump, filter, and heater if present. Be sure to install the system according to the instruction manual to ensure that it is placed properly and easily accessible. This is everything that is included inside the box. The Universal Series salt system includes plumbing fittings, flow switch, manual, control module, and electrolytic cell. To get started on the installation, you will need PVC cement, PVC primer, PVC cutters or a hacksaw, a screwdriver, measuring tape, and a permanent marker, at a minimum. Now that we have our tools, we can now begin measuring our cutout for the salt cell. Locate your measuring tape and measure 13 and 3 fourths, then create your marks. After you have made your marks on the pipe using PVC cutters or a hacksaw, begin cutting each side of the marked pipe. After cutting the section of pipe, we are now ready to install the unions. Please note that before installing the unions, to slip the threaded collars over the pipes and ensure that the female thread of the collar is facing inward. Locating your primer, coat the outside of the pipe. and the inside of the union. After a few seconds of drying, take your PVC cement and apply a coat to the outside of the pipe. And the inside of the union. And quickly and firmly press the union onto the pipe. Firmly hold it for a few seconds. After pressing the union into place, install the provided O-rings into the insert. Repeat this process on the other side for the other union. Once the unions have been installed, you can now test fit your salt cell to ensure you cut the cell to length. After screwing on the collars to confirm proper fit, you can now remove the cell from the plumbing temporarily. Now we can begin measuring the cutout for the flow switch housing. Measure 1 and 1 fourths, then create your marks. After you have made your marks on the pipe, using PVC cutters or a hacksaw, begin cutting each side of the marked pipe. After cutting the marked pipe, retain the section of pipe with the cell union for use in the next step. Once the section of pipe is cut, locate your primer and coat the outside of the pipe. and the inside of the flow switch housing. After a few seconds of drying, take your PVC cement and apply a coat to the outside of the pipe and the inside of the flow switch housing. Once applied, ensure that the flow direction of the housing is facing towards the water flow, then quickly and firmly press the housing onto the pipe. Repeat this process on the other side of the flow switch using the removed section of pipe which has the cell union. Once the housing is firmly installed, you can now reinstall a flow switch. Ensure that the arrow on top of the flow switch matches the same direction as the flow switch housing. Now that the flow switch is installed, take the salt cell and line it up with the unions. Please keep in mind that the cell is bi-directional, also ensure that the O-rings are present. Then take both collars and insert them onto the threads and turn them clockwise until hand tight.
After, choose a nearby vertical surface where you can hang the control module. This process may be slightly different for your installation, depending on what type of surface you have nearby. Securely fasten the mounting screws to the wall and then hang the control module in place. Once the control module is secured, locate the power cable. For the typical installation, you'll connect it to the same circuit as the pump. In many cases, this is an existing pump timer. For complete instructions on connecting your system to power and synchronizing its operation with your pump timer, please refer to page 17 in the instruction manual. After the control module is installed, locate both the flow switch and cell connection cables and connect them to the control module. Be sure to properly align the cell cable. Ensure that both cables are firmly connected. Once everything is properly installed, restore power to the pool equipment. Open the door to the controls. Adjust chlorine output to match your pool's chlorine demand. To adjust the system's output, turn the dial from left to right to decrease or increase. For further instructions on how to operate your chlorine generator, please refer to the operations guide for the universal system. This concludes the installation guide for the Universal Series Salt Chlorinator by CircuPool. If you have any questions, please visit our website, circupool.com. Thank you for choosing CircuPool Advanced Pool Systems.